Good evening, I'm Dave Leno. In an effort to reduce the number of foreclosures, a Marion County Superior Court judge has created a new local rule as a means to ease the crisis by mandating face-to-face -face meetings between borrowers and lenders. Judge Cynthia Ayers is taking her message statewide in an effort to educate more judges about how they can aid both distressed homeowners and lending institutions through the use of local rules. About 200 judges from across the state are taking part in the Indiana Supreme Court Spring Judicial Conference under new local rule. Homeowners are automatically notified about the settlement conference option directly from the court and asked to participate or decline. The conditions at the Karst Farm Park soccer fields are torn up, damaged, and certainly don't attract top-notch visiting teams. The problem is not only hurting local soccer clubs, but businesses such as hotels and restaurants as well. Due to the wear and tear, the top Monroe County Cutters soccer teams can't host home games. The County Parks and Recreation Board and the Cutters are collaborating on this issue. The two sides brought in a turf specialist from Purdue University to assess the fields in question. He says you have to separate the grounds by competition. Uh, determining which ones you want to have in top-notch conditions for games, which ones you want to have conditions for practice, and then uh, airifying them uh, regularly, followed by overseeding, and just trying to get turf to fill in uh, the holes that are out in the field right now. Like many other organizations, the County Park Sport has a tight budget in this downtrodden economy. Riker points out other challenges. But in Bloomington, the environmental challenge that you have, uh, it's too warm for cool season grasses that we have up, up uh, in West Lafayette and farther north. It's too warm or it's too cool for warm season grasses that we have down in Evansville. And so it's kind of a no man's land in terms of which species to use. Uh, your soils uh, compact very easily, do not drain, and makes for really difficult growing conditions. 47 United Airlines employees at Indianapolis International Airport will lose their jobs in June. The company recently filed a notice with the state saying the cuts are part of a plan to reduce costs. The layoffs will affect workers at ticket and check-in counters, as well as employees at arrival and departure gates. Let's take a look at your weather forecast tonight, mostly cloudy, with a 30% chance of rain showers, lows in the upper 30s. For tomorrow, partly cloudy. Highs in the lower 60s. And tomorrow night, mostly clear, lows in the mid 30s. Let's take a look at your five day forecast starting on Thursday, partly cloudy. Highs in the mid 70s, lows in the mid 50s. On Friday, mostly clear. Highs in the lower 80s, lows in the upper 50s. On Saturday, highs around 76, lows around 57. And on Sunday, we'll see better temperatures during the week. I'm Dave Leno, WTIU.